so today I'm trying out a new kind of video and I'm going to go back to one of my original loves to Zoids. So back when I was 11, um, Chaotic Century came out in Australia and Takahara Tommy was releasing these motorized model kits that came with the series or came out alongside the series on the show. I was absolutely obsessed with this show as a young teen and when I became an adult I just went mental and bought a massive collection of these guys. I was buying them left, right and center and building them fell absolutely in love. I've since sold off a lot of my collection. I still have all my shadow foxes and my organoids which were the main part of my collection and I kind of keeled off buying them for a while because the hype around Zoids was starting to die off with not many models being released anymore and no new seasons. That was till last year where Takahara Tommy took over making the Zoids again so that means we have some new motorized Zoids and they've also released a new season of Zoids. Now originally I wasn't too excited about them. I saw the models and I was like, yeah, they don't look like the 90s ones, which the ones were the ones I was in love with. And the show, I wasn't that keen on either. But when I went to Japan, I saw this model in person and it was actually quite nice. I was like, hang on, I do collect all the foxes and this model looks alright. She alright. I'll give her a go. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to build this model. So this is the box, it's vastly different from how they used to be. I sound like a member berry. Member? Member back in my day, member? Anyway, the box is still quite cool. So, if you're unfamiliar with what the models used to look like, I've got one of my original shadow foxes here, because I still have some of my collection. So these guys, this one was actually a wind-up one, and it could walk. It's a very simple mechanism of just making the legs move. Um, so yeah, we'll be comparing this model to this one and the HMM Shadow Fox at the end. So yeah, let's get into building. first big difference I'm noticing is that these packets are now labelled with letters, that's difference. The parts do look a lot smoother and we didn't actually get packets in, well, not really for all the pieces back in, back in my day, remember very much. Anyway, so these used to come on sprues, I'll try and bring up a picture of it, but and you used to have to cut them out, which is why I have these here, and my scalpel ready to shave down the parts. Looks like that is not really needed, since I don't see any sprues here whatsoever, so this is going to be, oh no, that, that bit has where the sprue obviously was during the making of this, I might have to shave that down to make it a bit neater, but this is literally going to be a snap together puzzle. Okay, so the book itself, if you're getting into Zoids, they're mostly going to be in Japanese in the books. It's very rare to find an English version, um, if at all. But yeah, you literally just follow along with the pictures. There's no need to think that you can't do it just because you can't read Japanese. Or well, at least that's how the old ones were. So this book is definitely a different style altogether. It used to be just a flick through book. It's nice to have colour though. So yeah, the set out of how to build Zoids is very much the same though. We have colour though this time. It used to be black and white and that was it. But yeah, it's very simple as you can see. Follow steps. You don't actually need to know Japanese to be able to understand what's going on. You basically find the piece you need, then you put it together. So I guess let's get into building it. Part S and the motor, which the motor I believe is a wind up. Yes, I'm gonna think that it is a wind up. No batteries involved. Oh, hang on. It is a motorized one now. That is a motor, and that would be the battery compartment. So, unlike the old one, which was a wind up Shadow Fox, there was battery operated Zoids, but this Shadow Fox was wind up. So, this Fox 
it's going to be battery operated. Interesting. Okay, so we need S4. I'm presuming that's in the S bag. Now the biggest thing here, just like when you're building something from IKEA, is to pay attention to which way things are. Because if you get it wrong, it can be a pain in the butt to get it right. Okay. Now I need four. I'm guessing that is a bag inside this bag. Because this bag has multiple bags. We have a four. No, we just have a... Oh no, the claw marks not broke the number. Oh, clever. Uh, four? Did I miss something? Ah. <laughs> Here I am showing off that I know how to build Zoids. I missed the first page. Ooh. Why so clever? Okay, well, let's start off with the actual first page, like a proper person. <laughs> okay, so I need S again, I need a little motorized looking part. I know that's S3. like a piece from A3. I'm gonna go with A3. Because A1 does not look like the right parts. A1 looks like the outer armor. So that's not the right piece. That looks like the right piece. So we have the smaller end going into this. So I want to know if anyone out there who follows my channel, um, do any of you actually watch Zoids? Do you just watch Zoids? Enjoy it? What was your favourite season? What was your favourite Zoids? I mean, well, favourite Zoids, favourite Zoid. Mine, of course, was the Shadow Fox, I think. I've made that very clear with the collection already. Which I'll insert a video somewhere in here to show you off what the collection I have that is. What collection I have left. If I could speak English today, that would be nice. So yeah, Zoid's building was never very hard at all. <laughs> although this isn't really as much snapped together as it used to be, although I haven't really started yet, so we actually give it a chance. You can see these parts are starting to move quite nicely together. It's building some sort of... I'm guessing this is a Gatling gun. Because the Shadow Fox is known for the Gatling gun, even though this is not a Shadow Fox, this is the Gatling Fox. But the Shadow Fox did originally have a Gatling gun. where the sprues used to be, I don't know whether you can see that. They've actually shaved it down, so... But not quite as neat as I would have liked for my zoids, but now I'm just being picky. 
Okay, so yep, that should turn and that should turn, yep. Now we go back to where I was before when I skipped ahead. Okay, so we need four and a f See, this is this bag, I'm pretty sure, because that's the outer armor, and this is clearly not A4. We don't even have a bag A4. Am I just being dumb? I don't know. The dumb doesn't matter anyway. I think I know what I'm doing, hopefully. Find out at the end if the Zoid does not work. ASMR bag opening here. So that is clearly not that part. Okay, that is that part. So yeah, outer armor is a nice hollow or transparent. In the Zoid community, we used to call Zoids that were made of the transparent plastic holotech. But for everyone else, it's very transparent y looking armor. So up that way and we're going to go into the square slots. Okay. Yep. See what I mean by pretty easy? If you want a challenge though you take on the HMMs, which the HMMs during my adult years, um, well my young adult years, they started coming out with some beautiful zoids which I'll show at the end. When I compare this with the other foxes I have. Okay, so now we need a tail. A5. I definitely do not have an A5. I have an A2, which has the tail. I think I'm just not reading this right. Maybe? That's clearly the tail. Do you slip on or do you snap on? Slip on. Okay. Next page. So I'm not going to trust that number. I'm just going to have to have a good old time looking for that piece. So a. I'm going to assume it's in one of these A bags. There it is. Whoop. That bit. Did you go on that bit? Oh, that's the on off switch. Jolly good. And now we need the other side of the arm, which is this bit. So, so far, as annoying as the sprues and the shaving down of parts was, I kind of miss it. Listen to me going, man, very back in my day. But I kind of liked felt more like a model kit rather than a puzzle. <sighs> this just feels like we're looking in different bags for different parts. Which is what we're doing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably just being a sour horse. And for those Zoid enthusiasts, no, I'm not going to pinline the Zoid yet because I don't. Not all Zoids look good pinlined. And pinlined is when you go in through all the different details and highlight them with a with a fine line pen. It looks good on the HMMs. I personally don't like it on the Tommy the original Zoid, so I'm going to go with. I don't think it would look good on this, but I'll see at the end. And if it if I do think it will look good, I'll just pull it apart and rebuild it with pinline. We're looking for legs. Is not the right part unless I tip it this way. Okay. Okay, so we need four of those. Thank you, camera, for stop working. So the armor points to the outside of the foot. Is there a difference between the outer or the inner foot? Oh, sorry, the back foot and the front foot. Yes, the back foot's clearly bigger. Yep, there we go. There we go. Not quite 
quite as tight, but that probably aids with the movement. That's what's going wrong. I'm a doofus. There we go. There are the front legs. Now let's try the back legs. Or attempt to, anyway. How many of you are just screaming at the screen right now, telling me I'm doing things wrong? <laughs> I know I would be. Okay, so. That part. Oop. There we go. <sighs> nope, we go above the leg. Now I need a back leg, and the back leg has this. Cogs. <laughs> Again, should have read the instructions. I was supposed to do the front one first. Yeah. yeah. Two more cogs. Beginning the head, I thought we'd be doing the legs. Okay. So that's that part. So one of the minor gripes I have with the new series of Zoids is back in my day, the pilot of the Zoid rode in the actual cockpit of the Zoid. Pilot nowadays rides on the back like a horse. Not a fan of it. Can't say I'm a fan. that part. Okay, this part. Hope you're going to hold everything together. It feels very loose right now. Which way you want that big part at the top? Okay. Okay, do not come apart. Okay, now I need a rib cage unit. Okay, looks like as this moves the jaw opens and closes, which is quite cool, but this used to be the cockpit. Now that is where the rider sits, it's not really a cockpit anymore, which I find rather disappointing. But again, that's probably me just complaining. All the legs at once. I'm used to the little time symbol being beside it and you build all the legs at once, but never mind. I'm ahead of the game. Goodness, 
it is hot today here in Australia. It is pouring outside, but it is still so hot. Damn. Wish I had my fan on, but my fan is far too noisy. I already have to compete with a road making all that noise for the mic to pick up. Winge, 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 fucking winge. Yes, you to me, winge. Cogs. Okay. Well, we stand. That's a good start. He can stand me. I just jump to the ball again. Anyway, need some back parts. Is this where we start to go into the silver parts? Or are you? I miss like I know Tommy didn't do this back when Zoids first came out but HMM did this and I loved that they put the Zoid cores actually into the Zoids which is like the heart of the Zoids which is what the organoids fused with um, in Chaotic Century which is the first century our first season I should say and I liked that HMM or Takahara not her yeah anyway Katabukiya actually put the Zoid's heart into them. You would never see it once you built it, but you could, you actually had to place it inside the model. It was quite cool. I'll try and put a photo here of it. Anyway, let's hope I did that right. Oh. I guess that's the wild version? This is it wild? Because that's the thing they're going with. The Zoids are now wild, so I'm guessing that's wild without armor. I'm guessing once it's tame we'll have armor and that's what we're going to do now. Okay. I'm going to think that you were supposed to go somewhere and I may have missed you because you look like you go there. I'm going to go with you go there. I clearly missed putting you on. How is that supposed to be useful? That ain't gonna hit anyone in front of you. I don't know if any of you can see that. That ain't gonna hit anyone in front of you. Anyway. Okay. So, we've got some empty bags now. They can all go inside. We are down to two bags. So. I'm guessing these are the human edition parts, human edition. So I need that bit. And that bit. Interesting. Slide together like that. And you sit on top of the tail. like we have some sort of missile system in the tail. The original Shadow Fox used to have like a net gun that shot at, shot at the back. Okay. Now we need like the Gatling gun part. camera stopped recording for a little bit there but we're fixed. Okay so I think I was up to putting the Gatling gun on and now I've found this part. I'm going to make sure I put it on correctly. The old sprue system was quite nice because you could actually try and find them in the little sprue thing and cut it out. I'm scrounging through bags at the moment on this one. 
pieces do go together rather nicely though, but so did the other ones. So, I guess in a sense that's a good thing that it goes together rather nicely because I would be extremely disappointed if Tommy lost its knack to making model kits that snap together easily. This Zoid seems more and more like it's a Zoid that gets pursued and it just shoots whatever's behind it rather than actually going on the assault. guns actually face forward they're all sort of attack from the front but anyway I oh sorry attack from behind okay maybe if I watch the show it might actually make sense to me I don't know but I'm definitely gonna have to give the show a go now because has got me all, side, all kinds of confused. Oh, I'm guessing we're just going to move on to the next bit. Even though I'm doing it backwards, but anyway. We won't talk about how I keep jumping ahead. is definitely a lot rounder and bulkier. I don't know. I'll compare at the end. It just feels bulkier and heavier. Not realistic weight, but it looks like it would be heavier. Okay, so that's what the little blue bits are. They're the eyes. Okay then. Hmm. They're actual little machinery eyeballs now. Back in more ID, the eyes were actually the see-through window for the cockpit. So the pilot would see what the Zoid would see. touch but that is scary looking okay back on track at least the head frames are a little cute still look terrifying even with the faceplate on. Oh jeez. Maybe that's why it only has things shooty from the back because anything that looks on it, its face gets utter terrified. Do not look into its eyes. You'll be scared stiff. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> the round bit out and the curvy bit in, okay. Hmm, interesting. 
Some extra cogs. The pilot. Wow, well, so the Zoids, even compared to what the pilots used to be, it's. This must be tiny then. Because, okay, let me move all this out of the way and we can start comparing the Zoids. Now that we're done, apart from the stickers. We are done? Yes, just placement of stickers. Okay. Let's bring in the Tommy and the HMM. Okay. So, this is the size of the new Zoids pilot. It is, you must have, no wonder there's no cockpit for them anymore. Because when you go to the original Zoids, let me slide that open. See, I gotta show you that, it looks so nice. We got the nice open roof followed by the actual slidey cockpit part and then the pilot <laughs> did humans get bigger or did zoids get smaller oh my goodness i'm guessing zoids got smaller and i don't know <laughs> the zoids of the past in the show must be like giants goliaths so anyway let's go into comparing so this is the original 90s Zoid. It is a wind-up one, and if you're wondering where the little wind-up bit is, it's nicely concealed into the net, the net gun of the Zoid. Very simple mechanism. <laughs> Just a simple little wind-up mechanism, and then you would slip your little piece back in there. But yes, yeah, so... Side by side. This model is a lot bigger and bulkier. Though apparently if we compare the pilots, this one's supposed to be bigger. So I guess if we go like, uh, I don't know, with this one really really close, this one really far away, we might get like, size comparison? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that works. But the level of detail's about the same. So I'm interested to see the motor in this one. I'm gonna to have to go out and buy batteries for this one, which I'll put at the end of the video, this one working. But then if we go into the epicness that is the HMMs. So this guy is a massive model to build. It is like high detail with tiny, tiny pieces. It is so, so poseable. This guy is flexible, poseable. He's got his actually Zoid, red Zoid core in here. This model can be posed into different poses. It is beautiful. Um, I'll post a photo of all my Shadow Foxes posed all beautifully because they just do such a nice job. I don't know. I love HMM. HMM did a beautiful job at the Zoids and I cannot be grateful enough that they actually took on board making Zoids for a little period of time. I think they are still making them, but my fo beloved foxes have long gone, they've all been made. But yeah, when you compare this level of detail to this, there's no comparison. But, I don't know, it's comparing oranges and apples here. This is supposed to be high-end meant for more adults than it is for kids because it's a very hard model to build but yeah so let's go find some batteries for this guy and actually get him working okay so i found a uh, one AAA battery that's actually pretty impressive only one so let's see how well this guy goes so that's actually kind of cool they did be my feet to see actually some really smooth movements. The Tommy one, the original ones, could be a little clunky. This seems to run really, really smoothly. So I guess that's a nice change. I still don't get why all its guns are pointing backwards behind it. Is it really just because this guy's eyes are just absolutely terrifying? <laughs> anyway guys, 
thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know in the comments and I might do some more build, like come build with me videos if you like it. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!